Blake. What? Come on, let's go. The cops said that we can go down to the station and wanted to make a statement. We need to get Aiden out of there. Yeah. I, I, uh, I just need a minute to process. No, we don't have a minute. It's bad enough that he's been there overnight. This is something serious. It's not some slap on the wrist offense. I know that, Kat. No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have let them take him down there. <laughs> it's not my fault the cops wouldn't listen to us. We tried, I tried, okay? You know what happened with my mom. I just need a minute to process. Okay, I can't imagine what you're going through, but you don't understand. Aiden is a black man in jail who shot a white guy. Do you not see where I'm coming from? I, okay, fine, let's, um, where's Paige? She woke up early. She went to go see Liam in the hospital. Okay, um, I don't think the cops will listen to us. I'll call Chase's dad. I wish I was wrong, but I've been where you are. Thinking if I change myself, I could fit in and finally be accepted. But no matter what, they will never understand what it's like to be black. You a bitch for that shit that you pulled off at the party. We shouldn't be tearing each other down. If anything, you should have been the most welcoming out of everyone here. I know. I know. I fucked up. tell you something. Let him out. Now. What's going on? Have they taken your statement yet? We'll be getting all those statements later on today. So, then why is he the only one arrested? Because he, well, he was the one carrying the gun. You're making this too easy. You have two males at the scene of a crime. One who's holding a gun, and the other says he's the one that shot him. Is that correct? Yep. So then, why is he the only one arrested? Because you don't know. I suggest you stop talking right now and get your union rep on the phone. You got to be kidding me. His brother's in the hospital fighting for his life, and you put him next to the guy that did it? Wait, what? They didn't tell you? I'll explain on the way to the hospital. I'll bring him back in the morning, along with Kat and Blake, and you can take your statements then. Let's go. Where's Eric? 
I need to see him. He hasn't woken up yet. They're not letting anyone in. What, what about Cameron? Why didn't you call me? I tried. Your phone kept going to voicemail. Please fill this in. Are you okay? I'm fine. You should go home and change. There's nothing you can do here right now. I'll call you if anything happens. I don't need to change. Aiden. Fine. Did you call me? You call me the minute he wakes up. Of course. I want to talk to Ty. I want to find out what happened. Come on, I'll drive you home. Thanks. Mom. 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 Oh, sweetie, you're awake. Mom, what are you doing here? Well, Roxy called to tell me you were having your surgery early. I have surgery I didn't even know about in the first place. Please don't start. No. You don't start, Casey. How do you think this makes me look as a mother? My firstborn lying in a hospital bed while the mother is sitting on the beach with her toes deep in white sand and sipping unlimited margaritas. Well, I'm sorry you had to cut your trip short. Stop with the dramatics. Obviously, I would rather be here with my daughter. Um, sh should I come back? Oh, no, it's fine. You can talk to her while I'm here. Sure. The surgery went well. Um, Unfortunately, we did have to remove the right ovary as well as the left. Okay. Do you understand what that means, Casey? Mm -hmm. Well, there are always other options, like adoption. Um, and on the bright side, we do think that we've removed all of the cancer, so you shouldn't need chemo. Um, we will need you to come back in a couple months for a follow-up. Thank God you don't have to do chemo. I would hate for you to lose all your beautiful hair as your best feature. Thank you, Doc, for taking such good care of my baby. Oh, sorry. Hello? Uh, no, I'm only in town for tonight. One sec. She's not going anywhere tonight, right? Um, no. I can do dinner. See you soon. So I'm just going to step out to get a little bite to eat. You know how I am about hospital food. Mm. Oh, Mom, did you stop at a bar on your way here? Oh, no need. Mom! What? Oh, don't judge me. Let's see how you react if you find out one of your kids have cancer. That wasn't nice. I'll be back. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Are you okay? Casey. Are you fine? I know where your mind is going. Don't go there. There's no way you could have known. Am I missing something? Last year, I had an abortion. Wait, what? Yeah. At the end of last summer. Thanks for walking me home. <laughs> of course. You know, I couldn't have you walking home all by yourself. and I never thought I would have to see him again. Thanks, Cole. 
Careful, Connor. Your white privilege is showing. Yeah, it's amazing the privileges you get to enjoy when you don't shoot people. Big guy. Don't pass me by. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. You're a tough guy. Gonna be in here for what? 10, 15, what was it? Attempted murder with a deadly weapon 20 years. I didn't do it! I know. I know Zach was with you. I know you didn't pull that trigger. Zach's always been a problem and he's always been jealous of my brother. I want to know what happened. I can help you. Just start at the beginning. Oh, hey, hey, girl. How are you? Oh, Leo. Oh, boy. Look, Paige, about what you overheard, I really, really didn't want to tell you about it. I just, I didn't know how to say it. And then he left. Honestly, I just wanted to forget. But that's why it's been so weird since he's been back. He came back a completely changed man, okay? He started hitting me. And when I tried to leave, he pulls a gun on me. What? Blake, Aiden, and Kat tried to help. was a struggle, and a gun went off. Uh, what? Liam's in critical condition right now. Liam's been shot. Oh, God. We tried to tell the cops that it was self-defense, but of course, they went ahead and arrested Aiden anyways. Oh, my God. Actually, it was Chase's dad that got him out. Oh, it's awful. Oh, Paige, how are you? Me. I just can't believe that any of this is even happening. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can we speak openly here? Um, yes, of course we can. Yeah. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? Girl, that is an understatement. <laughs> well, that could explain why you fainted, but there is more. Okay. Yeah, while the tests were running, we added on some blood work. And? You're pregnant. What? I just didn't want to be around everyone right now. Yeah, of course. I actually just texted Paige, so she'll keep us updated. Why does this keep happening to me? It's not your fault. It's not, well, it never seems to be my fault. You know, my mom still blames me for what happened. Well, she's grieving. She'll come around. I don't know that 
she will. And if Liam doesn't survive, then he'll be the second person that I've killed. Listen to me. I know you feel guilty right now, but you're a good person. Okay? You're a good person. What would you rather? You bury your mom last year? Because that could have happened. Same with this time. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And you're human. Of course you're going to feel bad. But just don't let it get to you. You know I'm here. You could talk to me whenever. Yeah. I know. Thanks. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Just gotta brush my teeth. Cops here have no leads. That can be anywhere. They'll find him. I don't know if you've noticed, but these cops here aren't very confident. I'm aware. Stay right here. 